What's good everyone, it's Corbin and I'm here with a video on how to install all those game variants that I've been showing off lately. Now this is the game variant pack 1 and you can find the link to download it in the description. You can also download the Halo Infinite variant tool in the description below. This is needed to install all these game variants. Now this Halo Infinite variant tool was created by Soupstream. You can pack and unpack and install all these game variants with this tool below. Now after you have both of these downloaded, you're going to extract the Halo Infinite variant tool executable and place it somewhere, it doesn't really matter. If you want, you can also you know, store it for later like I did. But in the meantime, you're just going to open that up and then you should have no variants installed if this is your first time. So to install my game variant pack 1, you're just going to go to file and then install variant. Now before I do this, it, this will only work on a Steam copy of Halo Infinite. And that is at least at the moment. Um, but you do need that. You can at least download the free version if you're on PC. If you normally just use the Windows or Xbox version. But after that, you're going to open the game variant pack 1 and it should populate with all my game variants that I made. You got Turbo Brawl, Free For All, Fight Club, Super Slayin', Brawl, and Turbo Turrets. Now Fight Club, we're not supposed to talk about it, but it's basically King of the Hill uh, with Brawl. Someone recommended that to me, and I thought it was a great idea, so I added that as well. So to play these, you're gonna launch Halo Infinite on Steam and by the way it will automatically detect your folder you don't have to go to your you know your install folder and you can actually launch the Halo Infinite variant tool from anywhere once the game launches up and loads and everything you can go to custom games Now to play these, unfortunately, you have to play offline at the moment. We are working on ways to get these on the file share to get it to save the settings. Um, but because it won't even be save the settings after I edit them in here either, you actually have to go and do that yourself, which is very unfortunate, but this is at least for now. Um, 3 for 3 industry mode, and then if you're like me, I have like a ton of game variants installed. Uh, if you want to get to them fast or directly, you can go to Date Modified and then Descending. As you can see, the top five are the variants I just installed. So, I have not showed you Fight Club. To play this, it'll start you with your, your, with your fists, but unfortunately, I can't make a copy of this map or this game variant and um, with no weapons on the map <laughs> so it's default still so you're gonna wanna put the grenades on zero and then all these on off now that will make no weapons uh, spawn or anything like that and you're gonna wanna edit your settings to your lacking for each game mode at the moment I'm only able to release like the basic core version of the game mode so if you want your movement up you can do that as well you can put that you know at 110 same with strafe and everything else. But, yeah, that is pretty much it. You can do other things like clamoring, but this will get the point across at least. So you're going to want to play with bots while you're offline. You can also play this online, or not online, but basically with LAN. You can trick it to do a network LAN, but if not, you can, you know, have an actual LAN party and play with real people if you actually want to. Most of these are free-for-all, but some are team variants. But, from there it should be good. You got any settings that will interfere with the gameplay. Now, you can keep weapons on or keep the movement on default if you wish. This is all up to, you know, what you want. But at least now you can have these game modes, like, you know, with modded starts.
it's like I said, it's a start. <laughs> I ho I'm I'm hoping we can figure out how to get these to play with, you know, without these settings having to be applied every time. It's kind of a pain. But yeah, this is why it's called Fight Club because it's like a ring where people are fighting. <laughs> But yep, this is what you get when you <laughs> when you install these. You get all these different game modes. This is the Fight Club. But yeah, so what do you guys think about this game mode, by the way? Let me know in the comments. Now, I'll go over a couple other things, just in case. If you want to play Super Slain like I made in the video I showed you, it'll just spawn you with random turrets right now. So what you're going to want to do is get the movement speed and all that like maxed out. So I pretty much do it on everything. I only do like 60% gravity. But all your speed scalers should be maxed out. And that's about all you gotta do with that. You can put this out, you know, you're liking too. Whatever you think is more like, a, you know, a Super Saiyan. Uh, you're gonna wanna go to Sandbox and at least get rid of weapons and stuff like that. Alright, that should be good. Oh, you need bots. Unless you're in a land match. Now that's quickly just how you set up, you know, different game modes based off what you, what you want. But these at least will be the cores, you know, to what you need to do so that you can you know, edit them to your liking, basically. The themes that I came up with, you know, were just the ideas that I had. As you can see, it's working, you know, just like I showed you in the video. It is a little bit of a pain in the ass, I apologize again for that. But, you can play these game modes just like I showed you in the video. Hopefully we can get them online soon, guys. But in the meantime, this is what I got for you. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys on the next one. Peace out. Oh no, no!